Hey guys, Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. So Mr. I think it was Antigio, Antigio. I am, I'm butchering it, I'm sorry about your name, bud. Asked a question about how to adjust a cantilever gate. Why is some of the reasons why it might be tight and it's not rolling properly. So I kind of wanted to go over that with you. Um, actually, it worked out kind of convenient because I'm working from home today. This is actually my home little project that I've just, you know, how your home projects always turn into more of a disaster than what you thought. And um, the reason being is I actually uh, smacked my gate over the winter. Uh, the plow guy seemed to hit it. I'll show a little clip right here. But anyways, I don't know the plow guy. And uh, anyways, we had this one at the shop that was the wrong size. It was built years ago. And uh, it, it's it's kind of wonky, but it, it'll do the job. So I'll show you some things about this gate and uh, cantilevers so you can understand what kind of goes on with them. Okay, so some of the things I've learned over the years <clears throat> is that I can already tell. Now, this this is not you know completely done, so forgive me for the, my U-bolts and that. This is all just kind of... Had a minute to do a video. Bigger pipe, the more solid everything is. So I can already tell, I wish this had six inch post on it. You know, um, now I, I should put some bracing across here, but I can tell they're, they're, they're shuttering. And I even filled the pipes up to, to do an experiment uh, with concrete. So they're full of concrete. I'll actually show you that they're full of concrete. And uh, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. You see down there? So they need a little more strength. So I kind of went back on the cast. For some reason, our vendors have changed. The cast rollers are not working out so good for me anymore. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but uh, so the way I started out with this is I actually had a piece of pipe, which is right there. I had a piece of pipe. What I did is I actually laid it, which you don't have to do it this way. It's just, it saves me time. Um, and what I did is actually I put it across, just like this pipe's laying here, but not the gate. I laid the pipe across. One thing I'm always checking for is my gaps. I'm always checking for my gaps. Now my roller, when I first set it down there, that one was really crooked. And I could tell it wanted to actually spin the pipe as it was going. It was kind of unique to see that do that. Um, so I'm always looking for the gap. And what I did is I put a level across here. And I actually made this side a little bit higher because I know that I got to have a little bit of a gap up there. I see, I do see a lot of guys struggle that they don't, they don't quite understand how a cantilever works. When this gate is out right now, the, when it's out extended, the weight is right now, it's on that roller and that roller, it, it transitions. It's not, it's not on all rollers all the time right now. So right now this, I, this one's sitting idle. And so is that one. So the pressure is down on that one because it's 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 wanting to crank down and then it wants to pull that pipe out of the ground right now. So this one it wants to push it down, that one wants to pull it out. So what I found out to do is I always like to level my gate when it's actually closed. I don't really ever care too much about when it's open. And then, you know, something's got to give. Um, they're never going to be perfect level both ways. It's just, it's impossible. At least for me anyways. You can get them close. I have found the flop that if you leave too much room in there, the flop of it will make it jostle around quite a bit. So that's one thing you gotta look for. Now, one thing I have learned, sometimes the bottom of these pipes rot out and people don't catch those, and that's where you're getting whoops. So with uh, the subscriber there, with the comment, you, you gotta watch because these braces too, when they put this together, they might be a little bit taller. So you gotta watch because you, you got to leave a little bit of space in there and obviously you don't want to leave too much because you're you're having the problem with it falling out but you got to look you got to kind of sight down that pipe and see if there's if there's any whoops in it because those whoops is what can cause um you know you, you you it'll get too tight you know you'll try to keep that roller somewhat tighter as you want but what you'll notice as it rolls as it rolls like especially like when it gets to this right here this pipe right here let's just say that was up a half an inch right there would get stuck you know because there's no room between there and there so you got to really watch those pipes look for rot down here make sure that's not rotted out make sure um you know you don't have any whoops in the bottom or the bottom or the top so 
but uh, the nylons are a little more gushy I like to say they just got a little bit more give than the um, the cast they do run a little bit better um, I, I just I don't like them for winter time if you're not a person if you're basically lazy and you don't clean them out they get stuck especially when you put a gate operator on it I haven't quite got this one tuned out yet because I just I don't feel I just feel like it's not rolling as good as it should and I know I know those poles are moving when I'm moving it. And this one, we'll see. For some reason, it almost looks, it almost looks like that gap might be just a little bit bigger than that side. So we'll have to watch that. But anyways, that's kind of how I set up the gate cantilevers. Um, you definitely shouldn't have it falling out of the rollers. <clears throat> you got something going on with your with your pipes um, if it's doing that. It's really just you gotta you gotta kind of spend some time with them. Like I said, I still haven't leveled this one out, and even when I leveled the pipe across there, I made this one just a touch higher because I knew with that gate more than likely it's gonna sag down just a touch. And uh, right now I gotta kind of beat it in submission. But this this gate when this was put together had our shop, it had barb arms on it, and we actually whacked the barb or I whacked the barb arms off of it. <clears throat> we don't need them. And then I ended up the guy that built it. I can tell you might not be able to see on camera, but the pickets up and down here you know supports they're crooked so it's a good gate just to get rid of I couldn't I couldn't give this to a customer this is it's it's pretty butchered so but it'll be good for for here and I had the gate over here sliding this way and uh, like I said I caught it with a darn plow truck that's my fault so this will just help keep uh, keep the critters in and maybe some of the critters out so anyways I hope that helps you out a little bit with the rollers. It's it's more of a thing you just got to spend the time and you just got to play with it. And you just always got to remember you're on those two pivot points. You know, I see a lot of uh, new guys, um, the pivot points, they don't quite understand. So they're always fighting with the rollers. You know, they think, well, it's not level, so they fight with the bottom. And it's, it's you got to think every time when that thing's moving, the pivot points that's going on. And you got to be careful too. But, you know, hopefully that helps out. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.